here we are at our next call here I was here yesterday but no one was home larger house on the water upstairs unit no AC and I think I think I don't know when this house was built but this is Hold on. Okay, before I got interrupted, I think this is like the fourth owner of this house that we've worked for. Looks like we installed that one. I don't know what we did on this one. Upstairs unit's not working. That one seems to be working, but I'm going to spray it off. And I don't know. Let's go see. All right, this is great. He left me the door code, but didn't leave me a little alarm code. So I just set the alarm off on the house. Let me call this guy. Okay, I called him, got the alarm shut off. And he says the upstairs unit is not working. He's got, this thing's got Google Nest everywhere. He's got a Nest there. He's got Nest cameras, Ring ring uh, what you want to call it doorbells he said the units in the attic I've never been to this house before where's the attic maybe I don't know where Let me find the attic. Well, I found one furnace. This is the downstairs furnace. And we need a filter. We need a filter there. This. This is actually the old unit for the first floor. Give this guy a call and find out where his attic's at. I finally found the attic. Huh. That's weird. This is the other side of the house. This, holy smokes, it's got to have... It's got to have 200 feet of line set. That's why they put a solenoid on there. But, why do they have this old coil in here? Hmm. Don't feel track. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me... I'm still got to figure out which one's which now. But this is... This is what he calls an attic? Interesting. I don't know. He says the upstairs unit isn't working, but he's got it set for 70. And I don't know if it's just because the house is well insulated or what. And that's the only one I have on now. And that is the upstairs unit.
but that doesn't mean anything. You know, it was installed 2022. No, 16, I'm sorry. 2016. <laughs> Someone has taken this thing apart not put it back together very well. All the screws are loose. The capacitor is good. that bad I'm just working off
96. It's roughly maybe 80 degrees out here right now. My superheat's only at 2.4 fixed orifice. This thing's overcharged. Oh yeah, I'm running 412.
got a really long line set, so... You know what? That should almost be good, because it's probably picking up... It's probably picking up, uh... Heat from other places. Like attic. sit on the one side of the dryer for a minute. Staying pretty steady, suction pressure's not. Fixed orifice, no TXV. Yeah, I got a plug dryer.
Wow, now, now the temperature went way down. 92, 92.8. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong one, dude. some charge in it just a little Let's see what it does we got to get this super heat to come down Been running for 15 20 minutes. So let it run a little. So let it run a little. Now I added some charge to it. We're staying pretty steady. Kinda. Not much. I just took the recharge out of the other one, put it in this one, and I'm adding a little more on top of that. I mean, ounces. Target superheat 13.5. I'm running 15.8, which is not bad. We'll give it another little shot. There, I mean, just a few ounces. Just empty out my. I think I overcharged it. There we go. Side's a little high, but not too terrible. Now my pressures are steady now that it's got the right amount of refrigerant in there. It looks like I overcharged a damn thing. Let it run for a few more minutes. I don't know, I looked back through the history on that one and yeah, we've been through four different owners on this house, but I don't show any installs. Like, I don't know if we installed that furnace. At that time, 16, um, it looked like the furnaces were from right there too, 16. There's another company in town that sells carrier. We're not, we're not the only carrier dealer around, or kind of we are now in the area. But during that time period, there was another carrier company, another carrier, to, you know, uh, dealer. Uh, yeah, we've been in and out of the house, but it, it doesn't seem like we've had constant, uh, let's say, contact with the owners. Let's put it that way. And we got another person sticker on the furnace. I don't know if that was just put on there when they did the water heater. I'm not sure but I don't know how that thing got overcharged but it did look like someone had taken that condenser apart um, at one time because all the screws were loose on it um, like because it looks like they got a bad cottonwood problem that seems to be a thing in my area trust me and someone had taken that, probably taken it apart and didn't screw everything back together how it should have been. There's screws missing. 
screws loose. So another company's probably been in there doing whatever. But I don't know how that thing we got overcharged. I don't know if they just weren't watching or not being patient enough because it's that second floor, it's got to have every bit of 150 foot of line side every bit of it because it goes from that side of the house all the way up two stories uh, to the other side of the house and it's just it, it's a long long run they got a liquid line solenoid on there and that's part of uh, the long line set um, part of the long line set you know if you got a long line set you got to put a liquid liquid line solenoid valve on there so I don't know. I don't know how it got the way it got overcharged. Really strange. But we did the target superheat on it, which uh, I did it on both of them because they're both piston coils. And that was another thing that was strange is that I could see the old one having the old coil. But the new one having the old coil was strange. Um, so they just went the super cheap route and changed changed the condenser out and called it a day. The coil was still good. Apparently it is still good because it holds a lot of pressure. So that's kind of it for this one. You know, I it was just a standard service call. It seems like it was following up behind another company at one point. And he said he didn't have any cooling upstairs, but the thermostat was set for 70, and it was 70. And I could see the thing was probably going off on head pressure because it was overcharged, and it had kind of a, a blanket on the outside of it, on the backside. So it was probably going off on head pressure when it got really hot. Like today's supposed to be like 97 in Michigan, and that's that's a little odd. It is um, truck says 81 right now, and it is 12 o'clock, so it's gonna get warmer. And uh, that is it for this one. So you guys know what you need to do. Like and subscribe. Hit me up on Facebook. And I will see you on the next one.